Okay, so if there's one question I come in contact with a lot, it's definitely the have you been hacked question. There's a lot of people that ask me, like, hey, Luna, have you ever gotten your Twitter stolen? Have you ever gotten this stolen from you? And I've never been hacked recently. Like, I've never, ever had to um, deal with that. But when I was 14 years old, something happened that really, really freaked me out. And I never had anything like this happen to me before. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is... The spooky elite 1337 hacker experience. So please sit back, relax, grab your vendetta mask, pull it over your face, and let's get spooky. Okay, completely apologize for that. I know not all hackers are anonymous, but anyway. So I was 14 years old, guys. Okay, I was in my Call of Duty fucking online every night, search and destroy days. And I'd go online with a bunch of my friends, all right? And we would all trick shot and go for fucking no scopes and shit. And keep in mind, 14-year-old Luna is a little bit different than how I am now. Because when I was 14, I didn't give a fuck, okay? I would go online, and if I died once, like straight up just once, I would shit talk the other team. And search and destroy, if you guys don't know, when you die, there's just like a waiting time where you have to wait for everyone else to die. And you guys just talk to the enemy team. And there was a lot of shit talk that went down. A lot of my friends would get into fights, and I would jump in to help them. And... I sometimes didn't know when to, you know, shut the fuck up, and it got me into some trouble, so there was this one kid, okay, and I'm not going to say he's gamer tech, because I think it's still the same, but I'm just going to call him Spooky Pumpkin Man, okay, and Spooky Pumpkin Man was a dickhead, and I didn't start this fight, but I, I did talk shit in this fight, so he started talking shit to my friend, because my friend fucking destroyed him, you know, he quick scoped him across S-State, he got really mad, and he was screaming at my friend in game chat. And that made me really mad. So I jumped in. I was like, dude, relax, man. It's a fucking game. Like, you're being a complete and total dickhead. And we just started throwing insults at each other. And we, it got bad, okay? It escalated very quickly. We were fucking shit talking. And the next thing I know, he's threatening me, okay? He keeps threatening me and my friends. And he invites us to an Xbox party. And he's like, get in here now. So me being the clueless fuckboy that I am, I accept it. I go in there. And he's like, ha, I got your IP, faggot. And then he kicks me from the party, okay, and he starts hitting me offline, and I'm offline for like a good 30 minutes, I'd say, and I'm sitting there just kind of like watching TV on my Twitter, you know, doing whatever I had to do, it was on my old Twitter, by the way, not mine now, and I'm sitting there, and he starts tweeting me, okay, he got my Twitter from my Xbox bio at the time, and he starts tweeting me, he's like, how's your router feeling, is your router cooking burgers, and I replied, and I was like, you are literally the biggest loser I've ever met on Xbox, period, and that pissed him off even more, okay? And then he takes the next step. I don't know how, but he got my address, okay? He got my address where I lived. And he starts tweeting me my address and shit. And he's like, dude, I'm going to send you pizza. I'm going to send you the SWAT team. You're going to get fucking swatted, man. I'm, they're going to break your door down and shove cupcakes down your throat and shit. And he basically just was threatening me with all, all fucking sorts of stuff. And... Spooky Pumpkin Man, whatever his name was. I don't even know what I named him. Was it something with pumpkins? Spooky Pumpkin Man? I don't know. But... He, he kept threatening me. He's like, yeah, man, I'm going to order pizza to your house. And I replied, I was like, do it. You won't. I want pizza. Because that's just me being the fucking little Xbox shit talker that I was. And I knew that he was capable of doing it, but I still said it because that's just, you know, me being ignorant back then. But, yeah, stupid Austin said that. And 30 minutes goes by. And what do you know? I hear fucking, fucking pizza delivery guy. And... Right when he started knocking on the door, this is the funniest part, guys. The funniest part of the entire story is this. I open the door, and there's the pizza guy. And I expect to just be like, hey, I didn't order this pizza. But when I open the door, he hands me the receipt and says, can you sign this with a pen? And I was like, what? And I was like, dude, I didn't order any pizza. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I didn't order any pizza. He's like, didn't you get a large cheese with this two liter? I was like, no. He's like, but there's, you paid for it already. I was like, with what? He's like, credit card. I was like, oh, Okay, so I just signed the receipt and let him leave. This fucking dumbass ordered a pizza to my house expecting to scare me, and he paid for it. So I go inside, and I tweet him a picture of it. And I'm like, dude, thank you so much for the free dinner. And that really made him mad. I don't know why he was dumb enough to order fucking pizza to my house and pay for it, but that triggered him. So a few days go by, and I didn't hear anything from the kid. Like, the last reply that I got from him was just him calling me a faggot because I made fun of him for ordering a pizza to my house and paying for it. And the next day, I hop on my Twitter, and I get on there, and all of my stuff's changed. Like, no joke, all of my Twitter profile was different. My at was changed. My fucking tweets were all deleted, except for one that was basically just calling me a dick. And then my avi was changed, or the picture or whatever. And that freaked me out. So... 
it scared me, but I didn't really care because, like, the Twitter that I used back then didn't have anything on it that, you know, really bothered me. Like, it, I had no followers. I had no reason to care about it. I got on it, like, once a day, maybe. So I just went to the account settings and deleted it. He didn't even change my password or anything. Like, my email and password were still the same. So I just went to the deactivate account thing and deactivated my Twitter, and he never reactivated it, even though you could just reactivate it by logging in. He never ended up reactivating it, and it just got deleted. And I ended up being okay. And I never actually heard from that dude again. But if you're watching this spooky pumpkin man, thank you for the pizza. Like seriously, really good. 10 out of 10. A whole large pizza and Coke for free. Amazing. But seriously, I'm kidding. But if you are watching this, you spooked me, man. You spooked me. But I just want to tell you guys a story because everyone always asks me, you know, have you ever been hacked? Have you ever been messed with? And yeah, it's happened once. And it was when I was 14 and really stupid. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for all the support recently. Yesterday, you guys killed the support on that video for all the Fork Foundation. I'm kidding. But you guys really did kill the support. So thank you. I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.